Hi, ProSource. I'm Kate. And I'm David with LikeAndHelpYou.com. And this is Bruce. Yeah, no, we're not going <laughs> to do that cheesy stuff. Uh, Bruce is working over there on a project that has to go out the door by 5 o'clock. So it's just Kate and me in this video. But we're excited to show you uh, a little bit about DMF, which is one of the downlight vendors in the ProSource buying group. And DMF is different. Uh, that must be what DMF stands for. <laughs> different materials. Never mind. Um, but DMF is very different. So if you know recessed downlights, you know what this is, which is, this is a test for Kate because she doesn't know DMF very well. So um, I'm going to put her on the spot. What's this? <laughs> it's a housing for yeah. your fixture and your drivers and all that fun stuff that goes right. in the ceiling. Your typical recessed housing. And um, when we specify these, we get... Um, the contractor says, have you seen how big those are? We've got to put these in the ceiling. You know, that's crazy. Um, but yes, you got to put this in the ceiling. This is an insulation contact rated so you can pack insulation around it. DMF um, is different. And the reason they're different is that instead of taking a halogen down light and figuring out how to put an LED in it, they started over and they started from the LED and said, what do we need to put an LED in? And so they got rid of this. And check this out. Okay, do the reveal. Ta-da! Right? This is the same kind of housing, but from DMF. And as you can see, it's completely different. This is called one frame, and that's because you can put anything in it. Um, one frame goes up very easily, nails in, and you decide later what kind of light you want. So from a rough-in standpoint, this is pretty fantastic. You know, um, an electrician looks at this, it's not intimidating. You, you poke your wires in, done. Um, but it's once the ceiling is done that it really starts to oh, shine. Sorry about that. I did not intend the lighting pun. Okay, one more thing is that once the drywall goes in, you can reach inside and there's little butterfly uh, um, nuts, and you can raise this and lower it in the ceiling so that this is just flush with the drywall, not hanging down, not too far up, etc. Um, and that's a really nice feature as well. But it's not much of a light, right, until we start putting something in it. You can decide that after the drywall goes up. Kate, bring the module in, if you will. And this, thank you, <laughs> a very nice presentation. Um, this is an adjustable recessed down light, and it's got the driver in it and the optics and the LED chip all in one piece. Uh, that's part of why they're able to do a housing so small, is that they took the drivers away, which are usually like, you know, boxes this big. Oh, yeah. They took it all apart re-engineered it and it's built uh, into this kind of um, uh, surrounding the, the, you know, the LED and little pieces here and there. So it took quite a bit of engineering to pack all that stuff in here. But now you can have an adjustable downlight where you just push on it um, and aim it at wherever you want to aim it. You can spin it um, to get it in the right position and then you've got your recessed downlight. Trims lock onto this. So um, we grabbed some of the trims and you can decide um, after rough-in that you want mud-in trims uh, and snap a little piece on here that's got a, um, a mud-in flange and so you can do that later. Or here we've got an assortment of round um, housings and they'll just clip on um, to that. Basically lock on and you've got a finished fixture. You can reach up inside and aim it. Um, it's very discreet when you use the pinhole like this. You can use a um, Hexel louver on it to um, further cut down on glare. Um, yeah, that's a Hexel louver. It'll go in there and you know becomes a very quiet ceiling. Um, but you can get square in this. They make a square frame as well that has some really great features for aligning. Um, you can there's like a little tab you can put a laser line down and make sure all the squares are exactly aligned. So that's really handy as well. Um, this is, I think, what you get when you start with downlights and you start from the ground up and you start all over and you say, well, okay, this is the LED area. Let's throw out our product line, which is essentially what DMF did. They threw out their commodity product and said, we're going to start over, we're going to start from scratch, and we're going to build something nobody has built before. Um, so this is a great product for stocking, for moving fast, um, and for making choices later. What disappoints me, of course, is that they don't have warm dim, and you know I'm a fan of warm dim um, that mimics the halogen curve, but 
Um, they tell me it's coming um, and um, hopefully in the very near future. So went out to their um, factory and got to see some other things that I can't tell you about on camera. Um, but um, uh, this is a product line to keep an eye on. Um, they're, I think they're really in, reinvented themselves and are going places. Um, and it's one last piece to show you how they've reinvented themselves. Let's look at the uh, disc light. Okay, this is your typical disc light, right? You put a junction box in the ceiling, a little transformer fits up inside of it, you connect it, you get light in all directions. And the way these work is they have LEDs around the perimeter that shine into an optical disc and then spread the light out. So you've usually got this thick white bezel around, or a silver, you know, bezel around the outside that gives it kind of a clunky look. So DMF, again, doing things differently, came up with something else entirely. Kate's going to show us that, right? This is a square version of the same thing, but if you look closely, there's really only uh, about a sixteenth of an inch of, of cast aluminum around here on the edge, which makes it an extremely clean, modern look, um, but a good source of light as well. And they're essentially using the same driver, so this is 120 volts. You don't have to worry about recess, dri you know, recess drivers or remote drivers or anything like that. It's a great little product. Um, and I don't know what they're going to take on next, but I imagine that whatever they come out with, it's going to be different than what everybody else is doing. So keep an eye on DMF, and if you want to learn about the other manufacturers in the ProSource group, be sure to watch the other videos. And remember, light can help you. And we can help you with light.